All right, so every book with a jacket is going to get its jacket covered with a protective cover. So remove the jacket from the book. You're going to find an appropriate size of jacket cover. So it might be a small one like this. You might have to cut a big one off one of the rolls or use one of the really big ones, which are right here. But then you get your jacket ready. Take your jacket, insert it. Obviously, you want the front of it facing the clear side of the jacket cover. <laughs> I have done it the other way around. <laughs> Everyone probably has at least once. Get it in there. And then you want to make sure it's all the way down at the bottom. And because of the folds in it, it's going to want to shift on you. But make sure it's all the way down there. Then we're going to take the top part and fold it around and then take a bone folder and crease it. Luckily, Mylar has a pretty good memory where once you crease it once, that's where it's going to stay. So you do want to make sure it's in the right spot. Keep going all the way down. This particular jacket cover has its own little adhesive built in. A lot of them don't. The ones that don't, we're just going to use scotch tape to tape them to themselves. We are not going to affix the jacket cover to the jacket. We're just going to tape it to itself so it's easily removable. We can just slide the jacket out at a later date. Jackets really add value to books, so we want to kind of try to preserve that as best we can. I'm going to re remove my adhesive strip. And then again, just make sure it's folding over in the right spot. Give it a once over with the bone folder. Make sure it's coming down. There we go. And it's on. You get a little crease, not that big of a deal. Just go over it with the bone folder. It's not going to make or break anything. And then there we have it. The cover jacket goes back on the book. We are not going to actually tape or affix the jackets to the book themselves because most of our collection doesn't circulate. So we're just going to leave it as is. It's done. So for our books with cool covers that we want to give a little bit of an extra protection to, we're going to put a Mylar jacket on these guys. So first thing we need to do is find an appropriate piece of Mylar. So we're going to look through our scraps first. We've got a whole big bin of various different scraps of Mylar. So if possible, try to use one of those first. But if none of them are going to work or if you need a big one, we also have a large roll of Mylar here too that you can use to make a, make a jacket. So I find it easiest to just use the book rather than trying to measure with a ruler or something like that. I think it's easiest to just line up the book. So I'm going to put my mylar, make sure it is straight on my cutting mat. And then I'm going to line up my book in the corner. And then, oops, then I will position my ruler at the appropriate place. And this is where I'm going to make my cut. I'll remove the book before I do that, just to make sure I don't move anything. Work your fingers down. Try not to remove the ruler. And cut your mylar. Once your mylar is cut to size, you're going to insert one edge on it and then fold it over and you can pinch it with your fingers first or just use your bone folder. The first fold isn't as crucial because you still have the other side where you can take up any slack if it's not a snug fit. So put one side, the other side over. On this one, you're going to want to wrap your mylar around and tuck it in first. Again, pinch a corner so you know where that fold needs to be. Then remove the book and use your bone folder to make that crimp really nice and firm. When you're done, make sure you have a good fit, that the cover fits the book well. Looks like it fits pretty well. 
And then the last step is to round the edges. Mylar can be sharp and might dig into some of the pages, so it's best to cut around the corners and round the edges of your jacket. And this book was already part of the existing collection, but on new books like this, we're not going to put our spine labels and barcodes on the book itself. Instead, we'll put them on the outside of these Mylar jackets.